files for divorce from Offset. Cardi B files for divorce from Offset <coughs> after nearly three years of marriage. Are y'all really surprised? Bring the bucket and the mop. Wap rapper Cardi B is wiping away her marriage. Two Migos rapper Offset. Cardi B's real name is Elisa Alanazer, whatever the fuck, filed a divorce pension in Atlanta Tuesday after nearly three years of a marriage, according to Fulton County Court filing reviewed by the Times. A hearing in this case is scheduled for November the 4th. The Grammy winning rapper 27 stated she is currently separated from her husband. The marriage is irrelevant. And there is no perspective for a reconciliation. People in, T in TMC, TMZ reports, okay? You already know what's gonna happen, folks, with this court hearing on November 4th. Because once you get married through the state, oh man, it's, it's, your balls are on a platter. Give me a second here, guys. Okay. She's seeking primary physically, physical and legal custody of the two-year-old daughter, Culture, and wants Offset's real name, Kerry Kavisa, Kerry Sapisa, to pay child support and for her legal expenses. Now, listen. This is the shit that I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. This is what I really don't understand with power couples and celebrities who got money, right? Ratchet behavior shit. I mean, what do you expect? What do you what do you expect, man? That's a semen demon. When you put the semen in these demons, this is what happens to you. The semen demon. She wants to get offset on child support. Now, listen, man. Why in the fuck do you need to get offset on child support when you are possibly worth, I wouldn't say worth more than offset, but you got a pretty hefty bag yourself. Cardi B's worth, how much is Cardi B worth, by the way? Let me see if I can look at them on my phone. Let's <laughs> give you guys an accurate uh, thing with Jay. In fact, you know what, man, man, fuck all this shit. I'm going to look up on here. I want to... Okay, let's look at Cardi B's network for 2020. Let's see how much she's worth. She's worth $24 million. Reportedly, that's just for 2020. Okay, let's look at her network. Okay, that was 2019. She was worth $8 million. Now she's got more of a bag. She's $24 million. Damn, Nicki Minaj is like 75 million. She got a big ass bag. She, she, she man, Piercy, Piercy, whatever the fuck that that guy that um <clears throat> Nicki Minaj is married to, man, he better stick to that bitch like glue. See, he he's the winner. He won on all this. See, he got he got everything to lose and everything to gain. She got a lot to lose. Well, she ain't got that much. Well, yeah, obviously she got a lot to lose unless, unless she's smart enough to put a get a, a prenup. I don't think she got a prenup. So that I, shit. Wow. <clears throat> Let me look at Offset real quick. Offsets network in two in twenty twenty. Look at Offset. Offset is worth $16 million. So, you mean to tell me your wife is worth more than you, nigga? Your wife is worth more than you? And she's taking you to child support. I mean, this is the shit that I don't really understand. Like, how can somebody who has more money put somebody on child support?
They're going to see who committed infidelity. She probably got proof that he cheated, that he did this, that he... See, these women, man, let me tell you something. These semen demons, man. These semen demons, man. Seedmen demons. Seedmen demons in the industry. These seedmen demons. From your Khaleesis to got Nas for $50,000 in child support for a month. Now you got Cardi B playing the same game, man. They ain't nothing more than hood, hood rat ghetto chicks that's just have a lot of money. And they going after rich niggas and get them all child supports. And of course you got them simps out there that will impregnate these semen demons, man. This is the shit that happens. Even despite the fact that she got more money than this nigga. She's followed for the chapter of getting child support for her legal expenses. What the fuck? This bitch, this bitch had this shit planned. My bad, y'all. This bitch had this shit planned. It's unclear if Cardi B also wants spousal support, which most likely she's going to get that too, or if she had a prenuptial agreement in the place, given that her pension also asks for an equal, equitably, equitable division of all material assets. Or assets, I'm sorry, I'm so dyslectic right now. I mean, quite honestly, I don't, I don't see why people really see a surprise in this. <clears throat> I mean, you got some people surprised, but whatever. The history making blow, uh, blow, <laughs> blow Dak yellow. <laughs> I was about to say blow Dak yellow. It's actually Bodak yellow. Bodak. <sighs> wow. The Bodak yellow MC kept her union to offset private for about a year, only confirming the long standing rumors after their marriage certificate leaked in June of 2018. They secretly wed in September 2017. And welcome culture in July 2018. See, man, something's just... Uh, listen, man. Something just ain't right, man. If you got to keep it from the world, from people getting married. But I know some people want to keep things sacred and private. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, have these two ever kept anything private? They've always put something out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Cardi B is not the type of person to want to keep things private. She let her business know all around the world. The whole world. Knows her business. So, you know. It is what it is. They've run hot and cold for years. Amid cheating allegations, public apologies, and Offset infamously pleading for her to take him back during her set at Rolling Loud in December of 2018. The Hustlers actress has publicly threatened divorce before but also uh fiercely and unapologetically defended their relationship the hip-hop star have never shied away from nsfw public display of affection guess what the fuck that is on social media or even on 2019's grammy red carpet okay didn't even show any public affection okay most marriages most people when they get married after some time they don't even show affection to each other man you just get so used to the person it just you know the, the eh, it's like a once in a while thing you do it and sometimes you don't you know and, uh, you know with my partner and how she is man it kind of feels like eh, i might be doing the same thing when we get there you know what I'm saying? Like, we just like we gonna, we we fucking argue all the time man let me tell you something man that's just how Marriages, relationships, all are, man. Y y'all all gonna continuously argue. Like, everything is a fucking fight, man. Everything. Look at look at my parents, man, for instance, man. My parents have been married for over 30-something years. And all they do is yell and argue at each other. But they, they, they don't do that now. You know, after some time, well, they kind of still do. But it's not as crazy as, you know, it's kind of like, eh, they, they yell for like maybe five minutes and it just blows off. Back then when they were younger, oh my god, they would go at, at it for hours with each other. This shit was crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know. That's a situation entirely for it. Oh my god, what the fuck I got here? Fucking flies and shit in my room. The fuck you mosquitoes doing in this motherfucking room, man? I know I got melon skin tone, but shit. I don't need to be coming over here biting me, man. This shit is crazy. Three years of marriage, man. Three years of marriage. Finally calls it quit. All right, listen, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and speak my mind, man. I'm just gonna speak the truth, man. Cause this is the God, this is the truth of God, honestly. This is the God honest truth. Let's just keep it real, man. Did y'all really think these motherfuckers was gonna last to the end of time? Not my black ass, no. Not at all, okay? You got a chick that came out with a song called WAP. She's always talking about sucking dizzick and eating a pussy and have poo tangy. I can't even say the word, but she's always talking about eating poo tangy and sucking on eggplants and ish. I mean, come on, man. Something ain't right there. And then you go wife up a chick that's constantly talking about how many ding dongs she takes for days and what she could do with certain niggas. I mean, come on, man. I dated a stripper before, and get me don't get me wrong, guys. Y'all seen the pictures of this girl that I dated, you know, girl, stripper chick and shit. I showed y'all before. But anyways, man, listen. The point of the matter is this, man. Look. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife, man. And when you turn a hoe into a housewife, you just go get the hoe out of her. That's how it is. Straight up, you go get the hoe out of her. Okay? And I'm not talking about, oh yeah, she's just a slut, she's a whore in bed. I'm talking about the hoe, completely, all around, all in physics, whores. You're going to get the whole whore about her, man. I mean, this chick, all, all she does, all her videos, she talks about is licking and sucking and, and smashing and, and, and cushioning and bushing. Come on, man. I think she out there smashing other dudes as well. That's what I think. That's my honest opinion. So I just think the fact that Cardi B, you gotta understand, niggas, niggas, niggas don't keep track of shit like that. They know that the end could be coming. They know the end of the relationship could be there. But this is my honest truth, man. A nigga like Offset, why you go get married in the first place, man? If you know you gotta listen, fellas, if you still got the urge to be smashing different women, don't bother do it. Man. Don't bother do it. Because at this time of age, man, it's like marriages don't even mean shit. Anymore. People get married for the wrong reasons, man. That's just that. That's just the God honest truth, man. A lot of people are just getting married for the wrong reasons. They're having babies for the wrong reasons, and they just don't know why, man. Everybody just, oh, I just want to have your baby. Ugh. Take this nut. Ugh. You know what I mean? Ugh. Next minute you have a baby. Ugh. Child support. Ugh. Now, now tell me, man. Which bitch needs to go ahead and put another rich which which rich bitch need to go ahead and, and put another a, a rich nigga on child support, man? It's like this is chess, motherfucker. All this is is a game of chess, man. It makes you think to yourself, why do you need to go to these extra measures? You know damn well she go get alimony. She definitely getting child support. But man, listen. I always thought Cardi B was kind of hideous, man. <laughs> That's just me. I mean, look, as far as her personality goes, hey, it is what it is. She's probably going to go back to being her crazy self, most likely. Uh, talking that shit. Being a ratchet mom, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? Let's go give her some money. She's going to probably end up having her own talk show. Let me tell you something. Who do you think, right? Now that these two are done, right? Who do you think is gonna have? Who do you think is gonna get the better half of this man? Come this right. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Offset's gonna look like the bad person. And on top of this, Offset. I mean, didn't this nigga almost crash in a car before, man? I'm telling you, that blue Aida. <laughs> Don't be surprised. And, hey, Cardi B is Dominican and Trinidadian. Oh boy, that's oof. That's hot, 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 hot blood right there, boy. Hot blood. Bomba clot. But anyways, man. We gotta keep it real. In this situation. I don't wanna say it's offset fault, because I don't know what happened in that situation, that part of whatever. But most likely I'm assuming that they're breaking up because somebody committed infidelity. And I think it's offset and offset just can't control the penis, man. But listen, I always say this. If you got rich, and let me just, if I was rich, I'm just gonna say this, if I was rich, I wouldn't get married. For what? No. Wouldn't even have kids. 
Don't have kids. Don't get married. For what? If you're rich, what's the point? What's the point? Have kids. You can have kids. Ain't no wrong with I understand. I understand now. It's better just have kids and get married because, you know, you know. If your seeds multiply, then you can move on. You don't have to move. You, see, that's the problem, man. When you get married, you get married through the state and you get fucked. And now, in all realistic terms, oh, man. Rich motherfuckers should never get married, man. Rich dudes should never get married because now Offset, you fucked, man. She got you by the balls. You mean to tell me that you think you really trusted this bitch to be with you to the end of time, especially if you're doing dirt? Like this bitch was gonna be that stupid, that dumb to just be around you. She was plotting this scheme. And listen, she's a Bronx bitch, man. She's a Bronx bitch, and she probably played you for a fool, think making you thinking that everything was cool. That's what she did, and she just striked back. She was just waiting for you to fuck up one more time. She was waiting for you to fuck up one more time, and that's exactly what you did, nigga. You fucked up. I guarantee you fucked up. It ain't the first time. Because all, all, listen, Cardi about to win this shit like a landslide. Because now Offset is looking like a cheating dog. You know? Well, this is what happened when you get whapped up in the game. <laughs> okay, I know that was kind of corny. But anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Who you think is going to benefit from this divorce? Is it Cardi B? Or is it Offset? I think Offset is toast. I think Cardi B is going to end up doing either stand-up comedy. Or most likely, she's going to have her own radio show. Because once after the whole music shit, she's still hot. She's still popping. I think she's just going to come out with mad music. She is going to be on top of the world like she did before. Like she was before. You know? But her career got a little bit stopped because, you know, she wanted to do the whole family thing. But now she got the family thing out the way. She got a kid already. She she done the marriage. She experienced marriage. I'm going to say this right now. I don't see Cardi B getting married again. I don't think that's going to happen. I think she's going to be a single mother. And I think that's it's sad to say this. But, you know, she ain't got much time left, man. And, uh, you know, motherhood ticks on them. It's the truth. You know? So she got to bag herself a man while she can. You know? But, uh, hey. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about all that. But, hey. It is what it is. But, see, she's just going to get fucked up through her age. She got to she gotta start settling down right now. And an offset? Well, I mean, he's... Just, well, I guess he's offset. He's just going to have to pay for a lot of emotional damage in that relationship. Because, basically, that is what alimony is all about. Emotional damage. But she could still get you for it even if she's not or even if she is. Narcissism plays a lot in relationships, a lot in marriages. Y'all got to be safe, man. And that's the problem. A lot of people are getting involved in relationships and marriage with people that they don't even know. You know, but uh, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Don't forget to hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on the Patreon community if you want to still support the channel. I'll still be trying to come up with those videos, man. I know Corona's kind of hit us bad, but we get back on track, man. The cases are getting lower and lower every day. Everybody keep wearing your mask out there. Wear your goddamn mask because it's working right now. The economy will be back together soon, man. I say by November after the election, man. I kind of see that happening. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. I'm out. Have a good one.